It was a disc, and it was above what looked like a turkey leg. It's totally not teen night. <laughs> I don't have school children near me. All right. Well, all right. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Welcome to Good Lord Laura What Now? It's an interview show where I interview the most needy and intention seeking person I know every episode. And the reigning champion of that is still Laura. This gal right here. What mythical creature do you wish actually existed? Of myth. Creatures of myth. Not of meth. <laughs> there probably are some creatures of myth, but they're not supposed to be that way. Squirrels. Oh, I was just thinking... No, yours is more of a whimsical thought. I was thinking more of animals who have found meth and eaten meth. <laughs> Unicorns, lame. Just a horse with a horn on it. Mm-hmm. But maybe a jackalope, which is just rabbits <coughs> with horns on it but that one's cuter to me yeah that one that one doesn't affect really a whole lot yeah it's just there to be cute yeah Mm-hmm. what's the most depressing meal you've ever eaten probably either a series of meals where it was just i bought multiple packs of oreos and just that's all i ate until they were gone like a whole day like well maybe it was like two days for two days straight just all, that's all i ate was oreos what was your thought process behind buying Oreos? I wanted to eat Oreos. How old were you? This was last year. <laughs> it was rough being me, okay? What brand are you most loyal to? Not necessarily a brand, but a website, jetpens.com. I want them to sponsor me. I've wanted them to sponsor me for a while because... Every single person that I know that uses a writing utensil, I aggressively tell them to order from jetpens.com. And I have gotten multiple people to make orders. I'm like, I just want an affiliate link, you know, that I can just, you know, or or at least give me like a punch card where it's like like a jetpens.com punch card. So it's like every time I make an order over $50, I get a punch and then I get like a coupon. You know, they never give out coupons. You said coupons and coupons. Coupon and coupon. You know, I just like to mix it up a little bit keep everybody on their toes but you can get like so many different individual pens and pencils and art supplies and everything you could ever imagine and markers and brush markers and copic markers and liners and dip pens and all this and you can get it all in one place you can get single ones instead of having to buy whole packs and you get free shipping at 25 dollars, and it's amazing and they're always very speedy and they're my favorite and I haven't bought from them in like a month because I'm on a low buy and it's really stressing me out, but I love jetpens.com. You're on a low buy? I'm on a low buy. What does that mean? Well, it's like a no buy. Where a no buy is where you basically put your spending in time out. It happens a lot in like um, beauty community people where it's like, there's always like makeup coming out, but I'm just doing it for my life. So it's like non-essentials, I'm on um, a low buy. So it's like, I'm just going to, you know, got to really critically think about whether or not I want to stop at the gas station and get a donut or if I want to stop at Target. To get shampoo because that's dangerous because I would want to get other stuff or if I just wait All right, it's time for next the next question. Store. What's the most cringeworthy story you have from your past? <laughs> well... Let me tell you a tale. <laughs> Once upon the time, at the tender, I don't know how old you are, age of fifth grade. Was that like eight? No, 10? 12. 11? You're 11. 11. Eight is like second grade, third grade. I don't know. I don't have school children near me. Sorry. Let me tell you a tale. At the tender age of roughly 11, I was in fifth grade. I had two friends, Danny and Lindsay. We wanted to go to the skating rink for, I think it was like teen night. So we were gonna stay the night in one of the girls' houses and the mom was just gonna drop us off at the skating rink and then pick us up at a certain time. And this was before we had like cell phones. And so I was like, I already had 
been pre-approved for the sleepover aspect. My friend's mom was like, you need to get permission from your parents to go to the skating rink without without a parent there. And I was like, oh yeah, sure, fine. I can totally do that. So I went to my parents. I was like, mom, dad, check this out. This is an awesome plan. My friends and I, we're going to go to the skating rink. Lindsay's mom's going to drop us off. She's going to pick us, us up later and we're going to have a great time. We're just going to be skating around. It's totally not teen night and we're only like 12. Like that's fine. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. It's chill. And they were like, no, you guys are ruining my whole life right now. So then I devised a genius plan of just telling them, oh, well, Lindsay's mom felt bad that that you didn't want me to go without a chaperone. So now she's going. So it's cool. It's fine. It's cool. We're chill. You know, I can go now. She's going. And they're like, yeah, OK, sure. We get dropped off at the skating rink. I'm feeling like a badass being like, oh, I'm sneaking out like my parents don't know. And I'm, you know, having a grand old time. And I just have this vivid memory of just seeing my parents angry face as I roll by the like the edge of the food court er like the food area concessions and I just I see them I see my mom's green coat and she is just furious she's so mad so they they pick me up they take me home and so I get grounded I get sent to my room and I'm just crying my life is over this is so embarrassing. I'm grounded forever. My friends will think I'm lame. My parents hate me. And I'm just crying and I'm crying and I'm looking out the window. And all of a sudden, I see these lights out of the window. And I'm like, no way, that's an airplane. Totally a UFO. So I get all freaked out. And I'm like, oh no, oh no, I saw a UFO. <laughs> Ow, I did not mean for that to rhyme. So I like, slip a note under my parents door as I'm sobbing and I was like I'm so sorry I lied to you but I just saw a UFO and I'm really scared <laughs> and so I really believed I saw I cried to myself so hard and was so upset that I really convinced myself that the normal airplane I saw my view out my window was a UFO I was still grounded even though I thought I saw a UFO <laughs> the end <laughs> Yeah, it was so weird. It was like, and I looked. It didn't have. It didn't have wings. It didn't have wings. Instead, it had like a disc above. Okay, it was not like, a helicopter. It, it definitely was a regular plane. It was a disc, and it was above what looked like a turkey leg. It was a turkey leg no, with a disc I on it, and it was going. I convinced myself that I saw the straight up, um, like flying saucer style, um, UFO. Long story short, lied to my parents, got busted at the skate rink with no adult, mm -hmm. took, got sent home and grounded, cried myself so hard to being upset that I hallucinated a UFO. That's all I have. Okay. Now it's time for Fake Comic Girl Corner. What? I'm a fake comic girl. Oh, I just said Fit Comic fake, Girl Corner. Fake now time for fake comic girl corner. That does not like that doesn't sound. What I bought a comic. It's really good. It's called Paper Girls, and it is by Brian K. Vaughn and Cliff Chang, and it's really really good. Um, it's about some middle school girls that deliver newspapers and they're delivering newspapers early 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 in the morning after halloween in the 80s there's sci-fi stuff that happens but it's the 80s so they do use the f word for gay for a gay slur f word but then the other girl's like hey don't say that but it was only once it, but and the other girl was like don't but it's four girl it, the main the main characters are four girls and they're super cool and I read it all in one sitting on vacation. And then while we were still on vacation, I ordered the other four books that have come out. And there's a sixth one coming out. You should check it out. Not sponsored. But I would like to be sponsored by JetPets.com. Thank you. That's great. All right. Thanks for tuning in to this little chit chat that we call Good Lord Laura What Now. That's Matt. I'm Laura. We hang out and talk about stuff and sometimes people think it's fun so if you want us to talk about anything comment down below if you want us to talk about movies we like or comics that we're reading or 
just anything, ask us some questions. Maybe you want to hear from Matt because he's a person. It doesn't have to be about me all the time. That was physically painful for me to say. Ha, ha, ha.